welcome back to the channel um, today I thought that I was gonna give the new uh, well Leisure Suit Larry recently got a sequel to this particular this this first uh, uh, sort of revival of the series of course uh, Leisure Suit Larry is an old um, series of adventure games from like uh, the early 90s I would say uh, and this was the old uh, uh, Sierra games and you know you had Space Quest and fucking uh, Police Quest, uh, King's Quest, all of those and of course the Leisure Suit Larry ones were a bit for a more mature audience so often had some lewd humor and things like that in and some of them had you know nudity, cartoon nudity of course but um, Recently, uh, I think two years ago, maybe three years ago, uh, they released this this one, which was a Kickstarter campaign, if I'm not mistaken, and it did fairly well. Uh, and I remember at the time I was thinking that I should grab it, but I just never got around to it. And now, with the sequel, uh, the sequel is called "The Suit Larry Wet Dreams Don't Dry Twice," I, I believe. Um, I figured it's time to get you know to to check these out. Um, so I basically have both of these to play now, so of course I'll do this one first. Uh, but yeah, excited because like I said, uh, I quite enjoy adventure games, or used to enjoy them quite a lot, they used to be my favorite genre. I mean, Gabriel Knight is some of the best shit from back in the day, so... But anyway, here we go. Enjoy, and thanks for joining. Uh, so this is so these games used to have this age check thing and then you would have to like check the manual and or you know it'll ask you some questions that you could only really know if you were like a you know an older person or something like that um, so how old old enough to play the game too young to play the game more than old enough than just a cat walking over the keyboard <laughs> okay so I'm definitely more than old enough some might say even too old. Mm, you really think you're old enough? Let's check that with some questions. Yeah, sure. Let's go. Which of the following is not a Pac-Man ghost? So Clyde is not one. Blinky, Pinky, and Dinky are all Pac-Man ghosts. Clyde is definitely not one. What? Clyde is a... Clyde is a fucking ghost? More than old enough. Let's go. What was in the case that was stolen from Marcellus Wallace? No one really knows because it's this is Pulp Fiction, of course, and it's this yellow glow. So, no one knows. I can't believe Clyde is a fucking ghost in Pac-Man. Am I fucking stupid? Anyway, no one really knows. Cool. In Australia, hide the sausage means. The vegan mother-in-law is coming to visit. No, I don't think it that. The kids are hungry, but it's shortly before dinner. No, the health inspector is here uh, to engage in coitus. I believe it is to engage in coitus. Uh, who sang Come On, Feel The Noise? Lemma, Larry Laffer. Who's this guy? Billy Squire, Quiet Riot. Probably, I want to say Quiet Riot, I guess. Okay, what is a competition pro? A joystick, a competition restricted to professionals, a chair especially for gamers, a professional bag. Uh, shit, it's either a joystick or it's a chair. I don't think it's a fucking bag. I'm gonna go with chair. Okay, so I'm not even making it past the fucking entry exam to get into the game. Let's try that again. More than old enough. Let's go. Who is the protagonist in Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty? Yeah, that was the whole fucking um, shake up because she thought it was Solid Snake, but it ended up being. See, I mean, this is. Yeah, I mean, Liquid Snake was, was the protagonist of Metal Gear Solid 3, so it's Raiden. What is a big blind? It's the. So minimum stake, you know, no, the minimum stake, isn't that the, the the small blind? The English slang expression for a bad soccer referee, no, I don't think so, unusually large black hole, no, dark hunting accessory. 
It could be a dark hunting accessory, but I guess, uh, yeah, minimum stake in poker. Okay. Uh, who's the protagonist? Let's see, Larry. It is Larry Laffer. How many people expected the end of the world in New Year 1999-2000? So, um, oh, why many people expected the end of the world? Um, yeah, it was basically the fact that the date and time field, of course, was an issue where things would go from 99 to 00, 00 or needed to go to 2000 or something like that. But it's basically not, it's got nothing to do with the Bible, I think, not so much. And these are the two, so it's definitely that one. Booyah! Okay, cool. So we made it in. Finally, the time has come again. He has awakened. Everyone thought he was gone, forgotten, and many said this was a good thing. But the chosen one from the prophecy lives. He will come. The alpacas will bow before him. And nothing will ever, ever be the same. Why'd you turn off the light? Where are you? Oh, yeah! <laughs> that feels like her. Ouch! Oh, but then again, maybe not. And how come we're not in bed anymore? Where is the bed anyway? Babe! <laughs> She must have split. Typical. Huh. Where did I end up this time? Man, the quest for love leads you to the strangest places. Oh, and most of them are pitch black, damp, and gloomy. <laughs> first things first. Time to put some light on the subject. Okay, so escape is the menu, I for inventory, there's also middle mouse, grab, inspect, and space is what? Ping? Oh, it shows the stuff you can interact with, okay, great. Uh, let me just... Maybe do uh. voices up. <laughs> do the voices up a little bit. Uh. Like that. Okay. So I got nothing in the inventory, of course. That was the menu. Um. Seems to lead up. Turned off. What is this place? Looks like there's something behind it. There Seems to be some kind of high-tech laboratory. Was I abducted? And most important, by whom? Seems to be some kind of high-tech laboratory. Well, that did something. Did they experiment on me? And most important, who is they? I feel like I've been sleeping for ages. Ah, daylight! Wow, that must have been one hell of a night. Oh, everything's blurry. But it's a brand new day. And today, the sun is shining for one man. <laughs> and one man only. Larry Laffer. Fucking twat. That's going really slow. But then again, maybe not. Did I sleep all day? Not a problem. 
That means it's another hot night for Larry Laffer. Hey, what the hell was that? Looks like the elevator's dead. Huh. Looks like it's out of juice, as opposed to yours truly. This looks a little different than I remember. So the date on the dance is in 1987, and this looks a lot like the very first Larry, Leisure Suit Larry. I think that bar was also called Lefty, so maybe like this is some time travel shit. Uh, I know that's not just a simple manhole cover. Somebody's got cash to foot that bill. That shoe has seen better days, but the shoelaces are still okay. It wouldn't fit me anyway. The second prettiest bush I've ever seen. A poster for a band called Crotswurg. There are some posters here, but nothing I'm interested in. A tight grate. There's something sparkling down there. Hmm. I can't lift that out. So I'm guessing... Shoelace? That's fine, just the way it is. Okay. It's overflowing. I won't rummage around in there without a damn good reason. Is that a fucking condom? God damn it. Uh, I guess I'm going inside. The animation is really, I mean, the art style looks awesome. And Ta then this like mega hot guy comes up to target me sighted. and I was like... Hey, uh, <coughs> you don't have to talk about me in the third person, baby. And then I took a closer look at him and think, Hello, those clothes are like so not... Hey! Wait a minute. Ugh, some guy keeps talking to me. I'll call you back later. What's a woman like you doing in a place like Lefty's? Well, the reviews sure didn't get me here. The joint only has like 23 fans on Instacrap and a half <laughs> star on Gulp. OMG, mega downer. But it's supposed to be the city's hot insider tip after next. At least it's also totally retro and vintage and stuff. Look at this filth. It really looks real. The Salon de Lazard is nothing compared to this. I'm Becky Butter, but I'm sure you already knew that. You look like one of my typical followers. You're saying you dig men in white suits, so I wasn't following you, honestly. So, fuck. I mean, this is supposed to be a brand new story, but I mean... So, Leisure Suit Larry was, like, in the 90s or something, so obviously, like, phones and... Instagram and all that shit wasn't so prevalent. So I'm probably like in the future now and he doesn't know what all this shit is. I, 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 I wasn't following you, uh, honestly. Mm. I'm Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer? Hmm. Oh, hey, my community is fading. My channel could really use some likes or I'm gonna lose traction. Yeah, yeah, so it's like, channel but the TV is off, traction, are you in pain, community, do you live in a commune? A couple of those words just don't click a with me. A couple of those words just don't click with me. Or don't you use Instacrap? I mean, you are more the farce book conspiracy theory <laughs> generation, aren't you? <laughs> farce book. And what's your score on Timber? I mean, you're about like, I don't know, maybe 50 years too old? But I heard that there are a few seniors using it. But they're more the whole, like, far shit or elite farter kind of thing. All I ever find there are, like, these totally superficial braggarts. Great profile photo, but absolutely no character. That's I've been around a lot, and it shows. Next year, I'm going to the Scorching Dude Festival because everyone's so open there. And they're supposed to be serving a brand new craft beer here. Home brewed, totally analog, like by hand and all. Great for a selfie. Hey! I can get you one of those draft beers. Craft beer. Or one of those. 
And if they have any, like, really spicy versions, then that's what I want. You know, like pumpkin spice or lemon cobra or something. Oh, <laughs> and, and sure. I mean, if you suddenly had someone arriving from the 80s and they were talking to, like, a typical, I guess, person of... Uh, uh, like, like, you know, that's just using, like, apps and shit and standing there on their phone, it would be quite jarring, I guess. Seems to be pretty much dead. Darts. Or... Oh, darts. Or flying toothpicks. Just the sight of it gives me an incurable Saturday night fever. I won't get to that record that easily. It's behind a window. I won't get to that record that easily. Just don't play any songs on that thing. That record in there would shatter your glass eye. Okay. What's this? The tap says Barbarian Brew. Trademark. Hands off! That's where my barbarian brew comes from. Only professionals like me are allowed to tap This that. is the fucking bar from, like, the first game. 100%. I wonder if this will be like a whole a going through the history of all of the Larry games. Oh my god, of course I can t pick that up. Scratching fucking. chewing gum off the bar. The second most wonderful thing in the world. Jesus, my dude. Still the most beautiful woman of all time. What'll it be? What the? What? Larry? Is it really you? Yep. Still the one and only. It is you. I haven't seen you in ages. And you haven't aged a day. You know, somehow, you look even better than before. Yeah, I used to have a Not bit of a belly. chubby. We wondered where you'd gotten to. Some said you'd retired to an exotic island somewhere. Others thought you had entered a monastery. And some said you were dead. Mm, the only exotic thing I ever had was a disease. I've never even been to a monastery. Maybe I really am dead and this is heaven. I don't I've think never I've ever been, been to a monastery. monastery. Although in one and of the Larry's, I think you know, this still isn't one. But seriously, Larry, what happened to you? Well, I was on a date with... Uh, what was her name? At any rate, we went to her place. Or to mine, or uh, to a hotel. And then... Let's just say the handcuffs on the bedstead were pretty tight. Now, I'm not saying it was aliens, but it was aliens. Just between you and me, I don't know if we had sex just or not. Just between you and me, uh, I don't know if we had sex or not. Just between you and me, between the two of us, you still look like a virgin. This, oh, okay. Let's just say the handcuffs on the bedstead were, uh, well, pretty tight. I do the same thing. Helps against sleepwalking. <laughs> now, I'm not saying it was aliens, but it was aliens. Oh, I don't even want to know what they did to your orifices. Huh. I have no idea what happened. Don't worry, Larry. No one knows what's going on anymore. The world's gotten confusing. Yeah, something's wrong here. I've never seen a glowing box like that before. What is he... Is he talking about the phone? Becky talked about Instacrap, Timber, and a bunch of other things I'd never heard of. I saw size skyscrapers out there that weren't there yesterday. Yeah, so obviously he travels to the future. Okay. Becky talked about Instacrap, Timber, <laughs> Instacrap. and a bunch of other things I've never heard of. Wait a minute. Larry, you do realize you've been gone a long time, don't you? What do you mean? You completely dropped off the radar. Like for years. Now, what are you saying? Oh, you mean it's already 1990? Uh, uh, or even 2000? Is the glowing box a remote control for a jetpack? Are we on Mars? Well, see, it's... Uh, come closer. Really? Really? Okay. I'm in the 21st century, 
Many of the people I knew are dead. Everything has changed. I don't know this world. But hey, who cares? I still have my good looks, my unparalleled charisma, <laughs> and the biggest... Uh, this is a family establishment. Smile in town. Mm-hmm. Good fix there. Okay, or save, rather. What's in here? Lock up tight! Behind that always used to be... Huh. I can't remember right now. That's my laundry. Um, I mean, the brewery. Okay. Um... The chewing gum is hard as a rock. It's gonna take someone with a particularly strong jaw and the right bite to make it soft and sticky again. Ugh. Okay, let's go check what's in here. Lock tighter than my high school dates. That's the way to the restroom. Uh, enough small talk, baby. How about you finally, you know, get out to business? Are we waiting here for someone besides me? Uh, why do you keep looking at that glowing thing? Uh, why do you keep looking at that glowing thing? I know, I know. It's like so old. I mean, they're releasing the new model in a couple of hours, and there's no way I should even let myself be seen with this thing. I'm gonna go do a live stream of the line at Prune. I am like so excited. But you wouldn't believe what an ugly nerd fest that always turns into. So prune is apple, I guess. Are you still talking about that thing in your hand? Stop that! I already admitted that it's uncool and really antique. Totally last year. Don't be so mean. Were you waiting here for someone, huh? <laughs> Besides me? Uh, well... I guess my timber date's a definite no-show. The guy must have stood me up. F-M-L. That really sucks, because Lance really looks hot in photos, and I would have been perfect for my selfies. My god. Enough small talk, baby. <laughs> How about we finally, you know, <laughs> get down to business? You mean we should link? Uh... Well, uh, uh, physically, right? What? What? <laughs> uh, fuck. See I need to later. get beer somehow. Um, are you gonna fucking give me a beer? Uh, something I could do for you, Larry? Well, I'd like two beers, please. One for Becky. Fine. She's one of those damned hipsters flooding the city these days. Calls herself an influencer. Ha! I used to put a sign outside saying we serve beer. Nowadays, I have to make sure that one of them influencers posts a photo of it on Insta crap. Insta... Uh, okay. Here we go. There you go. Two barbarian brews. Brewed with a lot of love. Although the health department just doesn't seem to appreciate that. Uh, eh, put it on my tab. Good thing I still have yours from 1987. Uh, Larry, tell me. Did you just put those two <laughs> beers in your jacket? Sure. That's what I always do. With everything. Isn't that allowed anymore? <sighs> Never mind. See you later, Lefty. Okay, so... Hey! I got your barbarian brew. Oh, that took you long enough. I had 12 new matches on Timber in that time. Cheers! Wait! I have to take some pictures first. Oh my god, first. fuck. This is too close to home. <laughs> right. So, cheers? Wait. 
I still have to film the video story. Oh my god. Bro. And Look at that his face. even though it smells strange. When drinking, make sure that your lip gloss is freshly applied. Otherwise, it won't leave any of those super cute marks on the glass. Because they're great for your... And you can't even see through the beer. It's so dark. You have to be careful with your selfies. It's a challenge, making sure it doesn't block you in the shot. But people, I know you can do it. Dude, it's been like a half an hour. And if you like the video, click on like and fave and thumbs and star and heart and push down there and leave a comment. But only if you like it. And share the video on Instacrap on Farcebook. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, cheers? Cheers! Hmm, not bad at all. Oh. I think uh, I'm gonna be sick. Wait, I want to film you getting sick. Hashtag fail. You girls in the future seem to have stomachs made of steel. Or you're all robots and sexy robots. And <laughs> my prayers have been answered. Oh, I'm just going to the bathroom, baby. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Oh boy, this is gonna be close! <laughs> Darn locked! I bet Lefty's got a key. Lefty! What's up? My guts are dissolving. Ah, thanks. Um, let me put it this way. I need that damn bathroom key right now! Oh, okay. Here, be my guest. Just got a fucking brick attached to it. Uh, there you go. Oh, the key broke. But at least it broke after it unlocked the lock. I guess I still have the brick though. <laughs> What is that? There's a phone in there. Am I hallucinating? No. There's something in that crud. I'm just not going to touch that. Mm. Use the cup on it? <laughs> oh, I've drunk and puked enough disgusting crap for one night. Uh, what's this? Broomstick. Here we go. That would just drag it through the slime. Mm hmm. There's nothing in there. No, I want to know what's in that pile of crumbs. Um, so dollar bowl, a quarter broomstick. Can I combine? Those two things don't work together. Can I combine? You could make a sticky fishing rod out of that, but the chewing gum is too dry and the shoelace is too short. Call of Duty. <laughs> Call of Duty. <laughs> oh, that's a pl Jesus, I'm picking up like a shitload of stuff inside this fucking place. This is a roll of toilet paper. Damn, son. I'm cleaning this place out. Um, Band-Aid. That doesn't help me. <clears throat> Here we go. I did that without an engineering degree. So it's an improvised toilet brush. Okay. Very.
carefully now. There's one of those glowing boxes in there. Motion alert! Motion alert! Yikes! Face, not recognized. Fingerprint, not recognized. Smell, not recognized. Identification required. My name is Larry. Mm -hmm. Larry Laffer. Voice, not recognized. Room, not recognized. Location, not recognized. Explain, explain. What the fuck? I cleaned off all the crud. A little gratitude would be in order? Assistance confirmed. Launching security protocol. Return me to headquarters immediately. Violation will be prosecuted. Talk, or I'll throw you back in the crud. Skin contact with that substance is not recommended. Okay, that sounds reasonable. Okay. What kind of thing are you anyway? This information is only available to authorized personnel. You are not authorized personnel. May not be motorized, but maybe I'm authorized. There's no need to be so formal. I left my authorization in my other pants. I left my authorization in my other pants. And there's no need to be so formal. Name and employee number? Larry Laffer. Number, uh... 69? Uh, <laughs> 69? Assistance confirmed. Return to headquarters immediately. Huh? Headquarters? Prune Incorporated. Prune? Just what's that supposed to be? Prune Incorporated is a hardware and software company known for its revolutionary Python, that's me, <laughs> and a wide range of apps such as Timber, the most modern and open dating software ever. The Prune headquarters are located in New Lost Wages. And you want to go back? Geolocation not possible. Please specify current location. The best bar in town. Please provide exact address. If you don't know which is the best bar in town, well, <laughs> there's nothing I can do to help you. Security alert. Initiating self-destruct. Five, four, three. Easy, easy, jeez. You're touchy. That was a joke. Self-destruct suspended. Please indicate current location. No. Two. Lefties! Self-destruct suspended. Lefties located. An UNTA has been ordered. UNTA what? Your UNTA vehicle will arrive outside in 24 seconds. Uber. Please get in the vehicle. Okay. Now, I'm curious. Feels moist. <laughs> mm. Property of the East India Vending Machine Company. Built 1732. Jesus. It looks like Lefty optimized it a bit. So can I buy something? It says here, of a pretty bauble now be sought. Slip a gold doubloon in the slot. I think it's safe to say the machine doesn't accept dollars. Okay. I don't sure? think so. Uh, okay. We'll go get in the fucking cab. Hunter. Uber. Here we go. That's a dodo on the front. Glowing box! Yes? Why are taxis now called Unter? Huh? And why doesn't it have a taxi sign? Searching. Taxi. Information found. Taxis are an ancient means of transportation replaced by ultra-modern UNTA vehicles. UNTA is a subsidiary company of Prune Incorporated. Don't I have to tell the driver where to go? He already knows. How? I told him. You didn't even talk to him. I sent it to his smartphone. Smart what? His glowing box. Oh, okay. Yeah, what? It's magic, right? No. What's your name, anyway? 
I don't have a name. Everybody's got a name. You can pick one for me. Oh, then... Po, Kim, Cindy, or Madonna. Let's go with Madonna. Selection saved. Can you tell me more about what happened over the last few decades? I don't have to tell you. I can show you. Shall I do that? Please. Launching video retrospective. Huh, good old Ronald. I wonder whatever happened to him. Oh. Oh my. And then. Hmm. No. Hmm. <laughs> exactly. I would have. Oh, that's new. Who? Him? And then him? It's gonna take some time to digest all that. Oh. Okay, done. Are we there yet? We will soon reach our destination. Damn, I don't have any money to pay for the ride. It's already been paid for. Did you send it to his smartphone? Exactly. <laughs> Come on, be honest. It's magic. Uh... Oh, there we go. Oh, Steve Jobs. You're nothing without what it. What building is this? The headquarters of Prune Incorporated. Huh. I was able to figure that much out. Dude, check out the long dong. <laughs> you do realize this thing looks more like a pink. BJ designed the building himself, and he takes criticism very personally. Please avoid that. <laughs> BJ. BJ. Bill Jobs. Oh, my the God. The CEO of Prune. My inventor, my lord and master, the center of my universe, the brightest star in the technological sky, the most intelligent man in the... You're a fan. <laughs> I get it. Take me to him. Quick. And no one else is allowed to see me. I'm a top secret prototype. Relax. You're in a pile of crud at lefties. That's not exactly top secret. I don't even know how I got there. Baby, believe me. I know exactly how you feel. Where do you want me to take you? Up to the Skyloft. That's where BJ's office is. Really? <laughs> Dude, check the name, Long Dong. <laughs> so stupid. What's that, a coffee cup? A thermal jug. Oh, that bird died. That's still good. Okay, so then there's that door there. There's the sign. An empty dis. I can hang a poster here. <clears throat> oh my god. Fucking Apple Store. That. Looks like you know what it looks like. Instant camera. Assistance confirmed. Return to headquarters immediately. Up to the Skyloft. That's where BJ's office is. Assistance confirmed. Return to headquarters immediately. Up to the Skyloft. That's where BJ's office is. I guess you need an access card for that. Mm hmm. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have to speak to one of these douches, Finley. Hello, could you... Uh... Oh yeah, and then? I stripped her completely. Oh, and then? Then I pulled out the pole. Uh -huh. Oh, and then? And then I lowered her onto the pole slowly, very slowly. Uh... I had to grab her with both hands and push deeper and deeper. Oh, man, I hope I can afford an expensive sound system like that someday. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Got something chatty in my pants I want to I get rid of. I something <laughs> chatty in my pants. And I need to get rid of it. What kind of thing? Wait a minute. I told you that no one is... This. Allowed to see me. Is that a... That's... Uh, the, the new model? The secret prototype. It's wonderful. Thanks for nothing. And now put me away again before the drool lands on me. Oh, too late. Where? Where did you... How? How do I get it to shut up? Don't even think about touching me. That goes for the two of you, too. Now shut up. Tell him to take me to the executive suite. And don't tell anyone. Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay, quick. Um, uh, th 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 there's the elevator back there. Uh, here, here's a single-use access card. And put the prototype away. Uh, where's my card? There we go. Bam. Let's go. <laughs> this is a catastrophe. How could this happen? We're still investigating, but we received the distress signal and the prototype is on its way here. Who has it? Unknown. I want to know who's responsible. I'll fire them. I'll sue them for damages. BJ. And if it ever happens again, I'm going to close this whole place down. BJ. What? Take it easy. The prototype is on its way here. We have everything ready for the presentation. All that's left is to clarify the final technical details. We're on track. Ah, you're right. I should focus on that. Do you have the prototype? <laughs> I'm Larry Laffer. I don't have a prototype in my pants. I'm just really glad to see I'm you. I'm Larry Laffer. I don't have a <laughs> prototype in my pants. I'm just glad to see you. Uh, hello, Larry. The prototype actually really would interest us more. Or do you have more than one prototype in your pants? No, I'm all real. And I'm BJ, as you know, but it doesn't really matter. The prototype. It's a pleasure to meet you, Larry. It'd be my pleasure to see you finally pull that thing out. Uh, okay, but I have to warn you. It's pretty big. No, I'm not. I'm the thinnest model ever. Oh, you mean the gadget that won't shut up? Can I trade this thing for Can a date I, uh, with you? Trade this thing for a date with you? Ha <laughs> ha. Very funny. Oh, wait a minute. You're serious. <laughs> Who's this guy again? You don't know him. No. <laughs> what rock have you been living under? Uh, under the street, actually. Well. This is Bill Jobs, the legendary founder and CEO of Prune Incorporated. And a genius. And of course, a genius. What is the blabbermouth thing anyway? That's our Pi phone. Don't you have one? No. Why would I need a gadget that keeps pestering me all the time? Well, it's a cell phone, a music player, a revolutionary communication device. You understand? It's not three devices, it's one device. So it's schizophrenic, too? Someday, I will kill each and every one of you. What? Nothing. <laughs> so how about a date? I know we're a little underwhelmed by raw sexual at first. Go out with me or I'll smash it on the floor. Out with me or... I'll smash it on the floor. Don't you dare. Uh, I was just threatening. Uh, does it really break if it gets dropped? We offer an extremely attractive supplementary insurance package. Will that thing at least shut up if I close it? Could you finally put me out of my misery? Ah, thank you. Back in trusted hands at last. We have to check out the prototype. Our chief engineer has to recalibrate it. And if that ever happens to me again, there will be consequences. So, about our day. You certainly are persistent. Mm, I'll just take that as a yes. Uh, you'd be surprised how persistent I'll, I'll take that as a yes. I'll just take that 
as a yes. Larry, I don't have time for dates, so I just hook up through Timber. Timber? The dating app we're developing here at Prune. The app that revolutionized everyone's love life. Oh, that. <laughs> right. Great app. Bought two of them right away. And don't take it personally, but I don't think your profile there has enough points. I don't accept any contacts with less than 90 points. Hmm. I have a perfect score on safe space invaders. I thought... <laughs> I thought I already scored with you. What a coincidence what I have coincidence? 90. I have 90. There are only four men with more than 90 points, and I know them all. Anyway, you've earned a finder's fee, Larry. Here, a voucher for a Pi phone. You can cash it right downstairs in the store. Then you can install timber. And when I get 90 points, you'll go out with me? Of course, Larry. <laughs> 90 timber points should be a breeze for a guy like you. I'm guessing that's Don't the goal go for the entire anywhere. fucking game. This won't take long. Where did they dig up that pathetic loser? Oh, damn. She cold. Brainiac bar, right. Okay, little bastards. Give me my phone. I have a voucher for one of those things. Uh, let me see it. Oh, yeah? Looks good. Give him one. Here, a brand new Pi phone. Thanks. Even if I did hear that a new model is going to be released very soon. <laughs> So, how do I turn it on? Uh, hold the button down. Okay. Welcome to your new Pi phone. Thank you for choosing a prune product. You're welcome, baby. So, uh, how are things? Please state your name. Let's say 12G. Larry Laffer, Burt Reynolds. You can find me in the phone book under Sexiest Man Alive. You can find me in the phone book under Sexiest Man Alive. Entry not found. Please state correct name. Huh. Larry Laffer. Registering Larry Laffer. Setup complete. Is there a woman, Is inside, there this a woman thing inside this thing too? Uh, oh, there's uh, a lot of women in there if you want. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This thing must have kilobytes of oh memory. Oh my god, bro. What do I need one for? For everything. <laughs> what do you mean for everything? Uh, you really were born yesterday, weren't you? Uh, well, okay. Uh, then show me how to work this thing. What? You don't know? No. <laughs> sure, Larry. We'll be glad to help you. <laughs> <laughs> You've already turned it on and created your user account. So swipe across it. I don't have a cleaning rag with me. <laughs> no. Swipe across the display with your finger. What are all these pretty little fingers? Pictures, pingers, Jesus. How does the woman inside work? Can you play video games on this thing too? What are all those pretty little pictures for? Those are apps. What do you mean, apps? Apps. Programs. Oh, uh, I see. And uh, how do I type something into them? You have to call up the keyboard. But this thing doesn't have one. It will appear on the screen. Huh. That's way too small. Boomer. <laughs> I think I've got it now. I doubt it. <laughs> I How does a woman inside work? work? <laughs> you have to call her. Wake up. Not like that. You have to say, Hello, Pi. Hello, Pi. Yes, Larry? What can you do? I'm a self-learning AI. The more you interact with me, the better I understand you. Then you'd be the first woman in the world where that worked. 
Can you play video games on this thing too? Only if you want to buy loot boxes. Oh what? my god. I'll explain if you pay me eight hundred dollars. Never. Uh, no thanks. Then that's not for you. <laughs> that's a fucking okay. shots fired. One more important thing. Faith said that I should collect points in something called Timber. How do you know her name's Faith? Ever hear of it? If you want to get anywhere on Timber, you'll need a damn good profile. A good thing we know something about that, don't we? I fucking highly <laughs> doubt that. <laughs> we can help you set up a profile that really gets the chicks. Great! Uh, but we don't do this for just anyone, so we need you to prove that you're a real player. Okay. Right, where's right. a dark alley? Where's a dark alley? <laughs> Ew, no, not that kind of thing. I'd like some soft toilet paper. They only buy the cheapest here at Prune, and it scratches like hell. And I have neurodermatitis and acne vulgaris on, <laughs> uh, you know? Uh, and what do you want? <laughs> anyway, what? Some underwear. Aren't you wearing any? From a girl. Oh. But used. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Of course. Uh, hey, it's not what you think. It's not for me or anything like that. But if you can get those, we'll know you're a real player. <laughs> so, you want toilet paper, but it has to be soft. A pair of panties, but they have to be I used. I got the toilet no paper. Problem. Perfectly normal things you can get from any vending machine. Really? The fucking panties too? Um, you for a taxi? Yeah, gotcha. Okay. Um. Oh, here's my fucking Instagram picture. <laughs> So, oh, the toilet paper's gone. So I used it on the stick. Fuck. Okay. Um. So I can go back to lefties. That's pretty much it. An unta can only be called from the street. Okay. I gotcha. Nice. Um, is there something else on this side? Yeah, no. Hey, Lefty. What's up, Aaron? The Wi Fi's gone all wonky again. Up, down, up, down. I can't work like this. Well, I've notified the technician. And when is the technician coming? Mm, can't be much longer. Time to get a move on. I announced a show for today. Oh, is she a cam girl? Damn. Some posters. There's still room for a few more. Oh shit, okay. Oops. I think I just killed myself. This cable has more breaks in it than my ego during high school. Um, do I have something I can grab it with? What fucking sound is that? That's gotta be the cam. That doesn't help me. Ah, that sounds bad. Ah. <laughs> Is there anything I can do to help? Hey, people! How are you? Becky? Is that you? I'm not doing so mega hot. More like kinda down. 
because the people here are partying so hard, it's killing me. <laughs> but I'll be good to go again in a minute. And then it's back out to the other party peoples. So if you want to stay tuned to what the nightlife here in the hottest location of New Lost Wages this chick has is going fucking... on, then click on subscribe below <sighs> and write in the comments where you're partying hard today. Bro. <laughs> Yep, that's Becky. Was it you? Did you put something in my drink? Of course not. I don't believe it. <coughs> Can you hand me the toilet paper? Forget it! I need it all myself, but this stays between us. I could use some panties. Why do you... I don't want to talk about it. I I'll see what I can find. Why does everyone want me to get them panties? <laughs> well, they'll talk later. Not a chance. Oh my god. Dude. This fucking... Um... Okay. Okay. What do I want? Condom with banana taste. Vib... Vibra... Vibra... Vibratomizer 100, the Szechuan sauce. Hmm. Guess I've got to put some money in there first. Um. I'm broke enough as it is. Uh. Okay. I need like fucking 25 it cents here. Of a pretty, I think it's. Um. Feels moist. <laughs> There's nothing in there. Mm. Those two things don't work together. Keeps drinks warm or cold. I've had enough of that stuff. Never again. Hmm. Behind that always used to be, huh, I can't remember right now. That's my laundry. Um, I mean, the brewery. Uh, something I could do for you, Larry? Well, who was that scantily clad redhead? Who, Erin? Oh, she rents the room upstairs. And what does she do up there? Oh. I don't really know, and it's none of my business. Something with that internet. What's a Wi-Fi? A <laughs> wireless internet. Oh, I should never have let them talk me into that special edition router. It was advertised as a Wi-Fi router with integrated home entertainment system. But the music is scratchy, and the connection is pretty erratic. Is the internet something like the ARPANET? Mm, I'm just gonna say yes. Ha! Huh. The commies will never catch up if we already have a better network than they do. I'm just gonna say yes again. How come Aaron didn't have much on? No one wears a lot of clothes on the internet. At least, that's what I've heard. Huh. I should get myself an internet too. You already have one. Your smartphone. Hey, don't encourage him. Oh, aha. Let's talk about something else. What else you got? Uh, do I have a room available? You have a room available? You know, for when the ladies come to call. Yeah, the room upstairs. But Erin's using it right now. She only wanted to rent it for a while, but now she's been here for some time. So if she moves out, I could move in? <laughs> if you can pay. Maybe I can work off the rent. If by that you mean you're going to help me fix the brewery, then we have a deal. How's the barbarian brew doing? Some people complained about bellyache. Mm-hmm. What? 
Really? And now the pipes are broken, too. Ah, uh, I'm kind of an expert when it comes to using my tool. That'd be great. Here's the key to the back room. Uh, but oh, be quiet. Erin lives upstairs. She don't want to be disturbed. Don't worry. I can use my tool quietly, too. Uh, you need to fire up the brewing vat, the, the, the brew kettle again. Pull the lever down, then turn the valve push and the lever push up. the lever up again. Gotcha. But you'll have to fix the pipe first. Something has eaten its way through. Huh. I wonder what. See you later, Lefty. Also broken off. Are the keys here made out of wax or what? Mm-hmm. Let's check it out. Dude. Okay, so leave it down, turn the okay, but first I need to That's the broken pipe I'm supposed to fix. That's the broken the pipe's fried. You'd have to change the whole section. I don't think I have some or maybe the band-aid? I don't think so. Shoelace is not gonna do it. Uh, what is this brewing kettle? Le Lefty said I had to activate something to get it working again. Dungeons and Dicks. <clears throat> okay, so... Lefty we... said the pipe has to be repaired first. Okay. What's... Lefty said the brewing kettle has to be repaired first. Well, the dude is not for lack of trying. I can't open it while the wash cycle's still running. Lefty's clean laundry. Well, at least he changes his clothes every now and again. Since when does Lefty wear? Oh, they must belong to this Aaron. Surely no one will notice if I take them. Surely. Did I just get some panties? Boom. Okay, that's a fresh one, so it's not worn. The wall's been renovated here. Locked, but I hear noises coming from the room. Knock, knock. Who's there? Theodore? Theodore? Theodore wasn't open, so I knocked. <laughs> oh, seriously? I've read medieval books. That would have been ashamed of a joke that old. I'll come later. I mean, back. No, thank you. Oh, what if I use the softener on the gun? That can't be combined. This chick is just fucking not living well. Oh, thanks. Good thing. Uh, was there something else? Ah, uh, the toilet paper, please. Here. Cool. And then your old uh, panties? That's just an empty roll. I used it all. And will you please get out of here? I want to get changed. You got an empty toilet roll there, Larry? Is it all used up again? Yep. Can I get a fresh one? These days it's always gone in no time at all. It's a secret we'll never unravel. Uh, can you do me a favor and put up another roll of toilet paper? Uh, we just got a new shipment. You'll find everything in the back room. Okay, no problem. Ew. So that's scratchy toilet paper. Hmm. Put the softener on it. Perfect. I call it the butt buffer. Soft toilet paper, there we go. Okay. That doesn't help me. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Um, okay. I still need to figure out what I'm going to do here. I'm probably going to need something that I can wrap it over that. 
Uh, Larry, you can forget the toilet paper now. The toilet didn't survive. It's been through a lot over the years, but that was just too much. That Becky disappeared too. She said to tell you she never <laughs> wants to see you again. Fucking rough. <laughs> Oh my fucking sack, bro. Ooh, is that? Hmm. Did Becky maybe? Yes. She threw her panties in there. I don't want to reach in there. Becky threw her panties in there. Okay. That's pretty gross. Another way to dispose of underwear according to regulations. Mm. So I don't know what I want to do with a fucking trash bag full of shit now. Uh, could I? I mean. This makes no sense, but that's fine just the way it is. That doesn't help me. That can't be combined. Nothing anyone should lace up. Okay, I need to somehow. Maybe out in the fucking street somewhere, otherwise... And, uh... That doesn't help me. Mm-hmm. I won't rummage around in there without a damn good reason. That doesn't help me. So I've got this, this dude's fucking toilet paper now. Uh, there's nowhere else I can go here. Ew. I can just give him the bag with the fucking panties in, I suppose. Definitely used. Uh, oh my god. Didn't you say you wanted them to prove that I was a real fire? Oh, uh, uh yeah, of course. I I'm only spelling it to be, um, absolutely sure. Oh, and the toilet paper is so soft. Feel it. Awesome. Oh, can I have some of that too? No, never. You guys are going to help me with this timber thing. Of course. Uh, we'll give you all the hottest tips, and you'll get more tail than you can tap in a lifetime. Just leave a few for us, too. <laughs> yeah, just uh, give me your Pi phone. Here. You change one single thing in my settings, and I will hack your own Pi phone and publish your browser history. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, so in order for me to set up the perfect profile for you, I need you to answer a few questions. Sure. N name? Larry Laffer. Nickname? The fucking lounge lizard, yeah, dude. Lounge lizard. <laughs> That's what they called me in elementary school. Profession? Cunning linguist. <laughs> a guy who understands a woman. Boat swing programmer. What? Boat swing programmer. Game programmer. Programmer. Jesus, it's all just programmer. Cunning linguist. linguist. I'll just enter IT specialist. Chicks love that. Yeah. They do. That's why they're always after us, too. Uh, what's your motto? Uh, your tagline? 
Hi, it's me. Come here often. I really don't have any STDs. Are you all natural? I have the key to your heart and for your vagina. Yes. I have the key to your heart and for your vagina. Uh, that suits you. Uh, H? Just do the math. It's gotta be 69. God damn. Adult, adult in most states. You're as young as you feel. Can I round off? Adult. adult. Let's stay realistic. Uh, let's say 39. Uh, favorite animal? Cougar. Eel, rhinoceros, beaver, pussy, monchichi. Rhinoceros. Whoa. My astrologist said that's my power animal. Uh, your personal gender assignment. Oh, man, usually man. I'm not looking at my pants now. It's complicated. It's man. man. I'll enter man. But with the quotation marks uh, sexual orientation uh yes please anything with a heartbeat i'm not choosy whichever hand is free anything except anything Monchichis. except Monchichis. um oh uh, okay i'll enter bisexual uh, that will give you the most options on timber well you guys are the pros favorite oh, position missionary cowboy the ones the pope doesn't like anything where you're not chained up 69 like my age hanging from a tree legs crossed and straight back doesn't matter as long as it's sex i'm not the type for a permanent position uh let's do cowboy, cowboy. <laughs> let's just say screenicorn and that's in right now okay <laughs> now for the profile picture show me your good side perfect if that's not an impressive profile i don't know what is so what do I do with this temper? Well, hey, if someone matches your profile, that person will be displayed as a suggested contact. And then you can swipe the pictures to the left if you don't like them, or to the right if you like them. Hey, if a person likes you, they will be shown under matches, and then your matches are shown on the under map, uh, even the ones you swiped away at first. And then you get points? I need 90 to get Faith to go out with me. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, well, good luck with that. Yeah, Prune has a complicated and top-secret algorithm built into Timber that determines your score. Uh, it evaluates the number of contacts, uh, the quality of your contacts, the frequency, and the quality of the sex. Uh, in addition, Timber members all rate each other. Uh, a good date scores more points. <sighs> the app evaluates the frequency and quality of my sex? Wow. How does it do that? We've been asking ourselves the same thing for a while now. Let me get this straight. I need to have sex with as many women as possible to finally get my dream girl faith? Well, yeah, that's one way of putting it. Wow, the 21st century is great. Hey, Larry. Yes, babe? I have new suggestions for you on Timber. Oh. The profile's working! The ladies love me, as was to be expected. Uh. Ladies, get ready! Here comes... Larry Laffer! Pot, what's my current score? Zero. Five. Oh. <laughs> it's a start. Only 85 points left, Faith. Not long until our date. Talk about a nut job. Cool. So now I can access Timber. Oh. Dude, is that my profile? I have the key to your heart and your vagina. Man, bisexual, screwnicorn. Dude, that is the worst fucking picture ever. So those are my matches, that's my set. Is that guy's name Dick Ryder? Oh my god. That fucking grinder. My... <laughs> Fuck. Uh, so no thanks. Gobbler. <laughs> At fish dick. Don't worry, the gal on the pick is just my ex. So it's a fish? Okay, I'll try it. Finley. That's the dude that works in the shop here. Look at this fucking idiot. Hot start. I get them all. Fucking. Oh. Anita Dick in me. 31. Thirsty girl. Subtlety is not my middle name. Okay. 
Brook 18, Roller Girl. I want to have a joint and listen to old records. <laughs> Hashtag no filter, Becky Butter, 22, Pumpkin Girl. Insta Life, Insta Good, woke up like this. Ugh. Dude. Bethus. 101 at Gulf. Sexy. I already had orgasms when you were little. Fucking. Uh, fuck off, Dick Rider. Okay. Le Metallica. 39. Rock or Roar. How does this thing work? This just ate a bat. Maxima Pain. 25. Ouchie. I like it hard. Okay. Aaron Brooks. That's the chick from upstairs, the lefties. Maybe Dick, Moby Dick. Blue stocking bookends with happy ends. This I already matched on. Matched on. Matched on. No. Matched on. No. Matched on. No. Matched on. Matched on. No. Okay, so that's now all of the ones that I've matched. Did I get any? No. You have some new matches on Timber, Larry. Okay, sounds good. That picture is fucking ridiculous. Can I, like, swipe on myself? Oh my god. IT specialist. Fucking idiot. Dude, I did not... Bro, knee up, knee up, keep it up. Male homosexual, he's also doing screwy on. Just a small boy in a big city. Model, lifestyle, code, streamer. Fuck off. Okay, so she's up for everything except missionary, female, pansexual. So that means pansexual is like sex with robots or something, isn't it? Or basically sex with anything. Okay, and then Aaron Brooks, female, bisexual, Hemingway, <laughs> cam girl. Okay, so technically speaking, I should be able to travel to them now. So. Aaron is back at lefties, and these two fuckers are, looks like, on the strip, so I'll go back to lefties first. There's, oh, that's new. That, just go check out this dog. Hey, boy. Looks pretty mangy, and is chewing with determination on his bone. Good doggy. Oh. I don't want your stupid bone anyway. I already have enough in my body. Do you want to chew the bubblegum boy? His jaw looks pretty darn strong. The gum is all sticky again, but how do I get it back? Hmm. Pay him a dollar? I don't think so. Uh, you're the fucking shit. like that. What about the toilet? Uh, what about the roll? Hey. That is not a good idea. Um, 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 um. No, he's not gonna want the access card, and I doubt he wouldn't class. like that. Okay, never mind. Uh, we'll come back to you. Yeah. Uh, anything new here? Yeah, new. I mean, I matched on this chick now, so does it mean I can go in and see her? Hello. Hmm. Locked. Hello. Uh, this timber thing says you want to match me? Well, in that case, come on in. Wow! I love what you've done with the room! You've been in this hole before? If you only knew how apt that was. What do you mean? Let me put it this way. The previous tenant was rather, uh, universally hospitable. That explains why guys keep showing up and saying Ken sent them. <laughs> Not to mention the exotic smell of the mattress. 
Just when you think things are bad enough, something else comes along. Apropos cum. If you'd like, we could create some new smells on that mattress. You sure don't waste any time for an internet technician. You are an internet technician, right? Lots of guys nowadays put everything in their timber profile just to get more matches. That would be really disappointing. And I desperately need someone to help me out. Uh, of course. <laughs> Who would lie on an internet, huh? <laughs> Larry Laffer, uh, at your service. You don't beat about the bush, and you're helpful. Good mix, honey. Who knows what might happen if you really get the internet back up and running. Um, that's a scrumptious lady like you, like yourself, doing in a scabrous place like this. When, when do we get down to it? See you later, then. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Fuck. Okay, hold on. That's... What the fuck is a strawberry penis? Give me that. Keep your hands off my strawberry bush. Okay, can I have the hey, scissors, though? I need those for my strawberry bush. I, I'm, I'm only borrowing them for a second. The only place that would be useful would be in a cart race. Please don't sue us. <laughs> Gum. You know, I'm definitely not going to make any jokes about blowing or gum right now. Later, though. I've entered a reminder for that into your calendar. I'm going to need a lot more of those. Mm. The light switch. What's that, lockbox? Without the right key, I'll never get into Aaron's jewelry box. That's hey, a Larry. euphemism. Uh, when, when do we down get to down to it? Uh-uh, don't be so impatient. First, I have to look after my followers. And I need my parcel to make sure I attract a huge bunch of followers. The parcel is still at the leisure suite. Then you'll get your own private show. I promise. Leisure suite? That sounds kind of familiar. It's that shop downtown. There's a package for me there. But unfortunately, I put the pickup slip in my jewelry case, and I can't find the key. Can't you just show your ID and pick it up? No. You need the official packing slip. Besides, I can't leave here until I do my show. When was the last time you saw the key? I know I had it with me the last time I left the house. What's a scrumptious lady like yourself doing in a scabrous place like this? I'm working on my degree in literary history. Apartments and new lost wages are expensive. That's how I ended up here earning money doing cam shows. Cam shows? So you're on TV? No, on the internet. Well, I would be if the internet was working properly. My followers are already waiting anxiously for my next show on the net. At least I can log into Timber via the mobile network. Where is this internet? And did something break off? Um, you want to know where the router is, don't you? It must be somewhere in the building. <laughs> How British! A <laughs> router! <laughs> what does it look like again? It's a box with glowing lights. Lefty should know. Oh, so we have a date from that app, don't we? Oh, don't you worry. As soon as I have internet access again, you're going to get a very special show, honey. See you later, then. I'll... Mm, okay, so the gum I can't get, that, that, that. Uh, let me just take this light switch. Please leave the lights the way they are. I need good lighting for my show. Okay, calm down. Would you please leave my bush trimmer here? Um, okay, hold on. Larry, come in. Hey, uh, I'm, I'm a that doesn't help me. Mm. Those two things don't work together. That can't be combined. Okay. Would you please leave my bush trimmer here? 
Calm down. God damn. Okay, so I need to ask this dude about the fucking Wi-Fi router, and I somehow need to get the gum out of that fucking dog's mouth. Hey, bro. Uh, something I could do for you, Larry? Well, do you have any idea where the internet is? Is that piece of crap router causing trouble again? Yes. Erin said her connection was too weak. Something to do with her cameras. Funny. I didn't see any tapes anywhere. I told her it wasn't a good idea to switch to that funky thing just because it looked so old-fashioned. Wait a minute. Are you talking about me? Or do you mean... The Moosehead has internet reception? How weird would that be? That thing's almost falling off the wall. The jukebox is a router? Yes. They told me this was the latest hybrid technology. That thing is nothing but trouble. And the music selection sucks, too. A truly inferior product. Not to be compared to modern technology like myself. Oh, hold on a sec. I just need to install 71 <laughs> critical updates. Be right back. Uh... Did anyone leave a key here? People forget things here all the time, especially their manners. But when those young things strut around, all they do is look at their cell phones. They can't see what's lying out there on the street. Although there are streets in there New Las Vegas, you really sewer. don't want to take a closer look at. See you later, Lefty. Just don't play any songs on that thing. That record in there would shatter your glass eye. Not only does this play bad music, it also has bad internet. What happened to a future full of flying skateboards and sexy Martian girls? I won't get to that record that easily. It's behind a window. The window is made of plastic. Seems pretty sturdy. Seems to be pretty much dead. No, I'm not taking that. This cable has more brakes in Hmm. So... That doesn't need patching. You can use them to make funny things. I didn't grab that originally. Um, okay, let's go check out this other area. Okay, so that's the gem. Let's check out the gem first. Hey, a doggy. Um, it's a poster spot. What's this? Hey! Can I use the gem? Of course! But it's for the members only. What's the secret to your sculpted body? You noticed, huh? Of course! You have to train really hard. I pump iron every single day. But I also have a secret recipe. You don't shave? No, I drink nothing but protein shakes. And it's working great. Well, keep working at it. You could do it. Mm hmm. Hey, that's my bowling ball. What are those disinfectant wipes? Okay, and there's dog. Oh, we did a donkey. What's that you have there for a toy? Is that a thumb? 
I'm oh, sure. Now it's sad. Almost makes it even cuter. Almost. Oh. It will have to cope with its grief on its own. This dim is only for members. Okay. Keep it up and stay fit. Mm hmm. Dude. Hey, wait a second. I know that face. Because then it doesn't count. It wasn't me. Besides, she started it herself. Please don't tell me you're my long lost son. Please don't tell me you're my long lost son. You forgot to mention in your profile how quick witted you are. Profile? You mean we're friends on that timber thing? Exactly. But as far as I'm concerned, we can be more than just friends. Mm, best friends? Best friends? That too, of course. But with benefits. Oh. Well, I've never been to a benefit before. Can you wear white there? Your outfit is totally ageless, handsome. My sensors are better than this guy's eyes. Your profile picture, on the other hand, it doesn't do you justice. He's lucky he doesn't know what it looks like below the belt. <laughs> Look, I'm going to make you a great offer. You're going to set me up with your mother? Oh, you want to set me up with your mother? Tempting thought, but... No. How about I set up a proper photo shoot for you? What's that supposed to be good for? Profiles with professional photos achieve 86.8% .8 more matches on Timber. Okay. Should I take my clothes off now? Maybe not right away. First, we need to find a romantic place for the shoot. Ah, don't worry. Romance is in my blood. There's no doubt about that. Let me know when you have some place where we can take those photos. Okay. Did I just steal a fucking unicorn head? I can't take the remains with me. It looks like anyone can put their posters up here. I want to enrich this collage, not diminish it. What can I... Aaron sent me to pick up a package. Ah, Aaron, one of my best customers. You got a pickup slip, kid? No, but she really needs it. No ticket, no parcel. Otherwise, just anyone could come. Oh, come on. Okay. I'll come back a little later. Don't go dying on me now. I look fitter than you do. His pulse and blood sugar are really bad, too. <laughs> Can I go to the back Hey, get away from there. Why? What's back there? Nothing at all. Do you have to pay an entrance fee? No, it's just off limits to you. But that obviously belongs to this store. No, this is it. My information <laughs> indicates another shop at this address. Cheeky little tramp. Oh, whatever. Come on, I'll show you what's back there. Come with me and see the double life I lead. It's a clicky mart. Oh, shit. Why is the normal shop in the back room? Because it's just too embarrassing. Without the Quickie Mart, I would have had to close the leisure suite long ago. Mm, it's all that damn internet's fault. And now that people can see all the skin games they want on the internet, they've stopped coming here. And whoever invented neutral packaging should be ashamed of themselves. Anyway, the only thing keeping me afloat is having this place, too. So now you know my dirty little secret. Feel free to uh, look around. Mm hmm. That's a slushy. Help yourself, kid. All customers can have one. That doesn't make me the least bit suspicious. Can I combine that with the. So, frozen slushy combined with the thermal jug? Yeah, there we go. No, it'll stay frozen. That'll keep it nice and cool. Okay, and then 
I don't know what the deal is with this fucking unicorn head, but okay. Watermelon. Hands off, kid. That's only for customers who use PrunePal. PrunePal is a payment app from Prune and only available to company employees. Oh, well. Hands off, kid. That's only for customers who use PrunePal. PrunePal is a payment app from Prune and only available to company employees. Oh, well. Okay, gotcha. So that's those three things. Is there anything else I can take here? No. Feel free to uh, look around. Okay. Hey, you can't just take that unicorn, kid. You gotta pay for it first. But it's not for sale anyway, because I don't have any more. Okay. Another space for poster. What is this? Ashtray? My doctor forbid me from poking in ashtrays. Vegan yeah. licorice wheel. I like candy. Help yourself. They're free. Um, what is this place? Hello? Welcome to the Salon de Lazard. The most individual, underground, hip, and veganist bar in town. Here? You can get anything you want. And it's all gluten-free. Gluten? Just what is that supposed to be? Hey, uh, does it taste good? Uh, 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 um. Breathe evenly, Everett. Remember India. Uh, oh, um. a, a beer, please? Sorry, we're all out of organic natural pale ale. Did you know that natural ingredients rot pretty quickly without preservatives? Oh my god. These fucking guys. What else do you have on the menu? We've got chai latte, maca latte, normal latte, and a really stiff latte. Don't say it, Larry. Stiff? <laughs> and of course he says it. All with soy milk, naturally. Plus falafel and halloumi sandwiches. More avocado dishes than I could list here now. All regionally sourced and organic. And gluten-free bread to try out. So, what'll it be? Mm. I'll have a latte, please. Gladly. That'll be twelve dollars. What? I can get a latte cheaper somewhere else. Oh, uh, I just noticed that the soy milk's expired. Do you still need it? Normally, we throw these out for the dumpster divers, but okay, here. Ah, uh, I don't think I want anything after all. I'll see you later. No, I'm not taking that. Hmm. The Cunning Linguist by Montgomery Clit Hero. <laughs> Clithero. Clithero. The glass cabinet is anchored to its base. I can't get it open. There's no record on the turntable. Hey, hands off. That's the most expensive thing in the whole place. And not for sale. It's just a piece of cloth. No, it's the shroud. The shroud of urine. Okay, I'll give you three bucks for it. Oh, are you deaf? Not for sale. Why? What's so special about it? It's the sheet Freddie Quicksilver was buried in. The one from the legendary Live AIDS concert. For a Queef fan, it is oh the holiest God. of all relics. Some of our guests only come here to pay homage to the Shroud. 
Queef split up? No, they've been looking for a new singer for 25 years. But they'll never find another one like him again. And since then, they've gone really mainstream? Yeah, you can't take them seriously anymore. They used to be underground, but nowadays... Would you trade the Shroud for something? Mm, I can only think of one thing that would mean more to us than the Shroud of Urine. Me too. A Polaroid. What's that? It's the absolutely limited edition vintage camera from Prune. And they only made a very few. It prints out a photo right away instead of saving it digitally. So every photo is unique. The picture quality is absolutely retro, so really, really bad. Isn't that just the wildest, most revolutionary idea ever? BJ is simply a genius. Of course. I'll see if I can dig one up. Hmm. Your turbo laugher. If that was supposed to be some sort of pickup oh line, it was unusual. Hey, thanks. Oh, I didn't mean that as that. <laughs> ah, you know, never mind. My name is Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer? At your service. Always. Lemma. Lemma Talica. Rocking out. Always. Would you go out with me? You don't waste any time, do you? I like that. After my concerts, I always feel the need to have a good time. You don't waste any time. Yep, but I need groupies that can take it. So that's why you matched me on Timber. Nah, I match everyone so they come to my concerts. Oh, okay. But that's how that works. If there's one thing I know, it's how to cool a hot woman down. <laughs> that sounded better in my head. But first, my gig has to actually take place. Hey, there are still posters to be hung up and my drummer disappeared. Didn't show up for sound check. Wanted to grab a drink in some nasty rundown bar on the beach. If I could only remember the name. Lefties. I could do the poster stuff. Oh, thank you so much. That would really help me out. Here you go. So I could put a post up there. How many do I have? A fuckload. And that's another one gone. One here. And that's another one gone. Is there one in the gym? I don't think so. Mm, new. Keep it up and stay fit. Mm-hmm. Will do, bro. I think in the quickie mount there was one. No. That is incorrect, sir. Okay. Lefties, I can probably give this dog a fucking toy now. Then I can get the gum back. Go. And that's another one gone. There you go, boy. Oh, the chewing gum made the bone incredibly sticky. Okay, and then I tie these. You could two make a sticky fishing rod out of that, but the shoelace is too short. Hmm. You could make a sticky fishy rod out of that, but the licorice wheel is too short. 
I'm fine. The liquor's with the okay. There we go. Short plus short equals long. And then that with the fucking bone. And now a I can sticky fishing rod. Probably get the key out of the sewer or drain. Great. There was a key in the drain. And that's the key for the lockbox. What else did I get here? I got expired soy. I don't know what the fuck that is. The key bone dots. Du, 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 du. That can't be combined. I don't know what I tried to do there. I don't think so. Okay. Put up another poster here. I can hang that there. There are always a lot of people here. Well, at least Lafty and mm, Aaron. And that's another one gone. Uh oh. Oh. What the hell is this? Did Lefty wall someone in there? Looks like a pimp Somehow hat. Somehow that seems familiar. Nice hat. I used to have one of those. But I'm not touching that. The way he looks, he might still have ancient STDs. But I want the fucking gold he won't tooth. Miss it. Nice. Okay. Let's go unlock that. Larry? Come in. Um Do I have something here that should be cut? Disinfectional wipes. Um, here we go. It fits. I can use that to pick up Aaron's package from the leisure suite. Mm, dripping pipe. Could I use the wipes on it? I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think so. That doesn't help me. I need to fit. Mm, what if? Um. Shit. What can I do for Aaron sent me to pick up a pack. Ah, Aaron. Oh, yeah. Uh, here you are, madame. Thanks. Just a second. Sorry, kid. I can't read the handwriting. Nowadays, everything is printed so small. Probably to make the penises painted next to it look bigger. Have you ever heard of this new technology called... Glasses. Now, don't give me that, kid. I have eyeglasses, but I lost them last night when I was sandwiched between the two Finnish dwarves and the Maori warrior. <laughs> Impressive selection, ma'am. I, uh, <clears throat> assume you put everything through its paces? Well, I've definitely gotten deeper into it than a kid like you. Could you recommend something the ladies really enjoy? Uh, normally, I'd recommend the Sex Panther. But after that whole thing with the news anchor, it's not allowed anymore. First off, I'd recommend that you take a shower, young man. A long, long shower. You look like you haven't touched water since the 80s. Do you have, like, mm, regular customers? Of course, but don't get your hopes up. I don't have a loyalty card for dildos. It's a good idea, though. Hmm. I'll come back a little later. Don't go dying on me now. 
I look fitter than you do. His pulse and blood sugar are really bad too. Alrighty. Okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna stop here for part one of this playthrough. Um, it's actually pretty cool so far. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, pretty linear. Uh, I mean, there's a little bit of like questy kind of solving, you know, kind of things that you have to do. But uh, yeah, all in all, I like it. Uh, I'm interested to see how it ends up, you know, finishing out. But uh, yeah, that will do in the following parts. I don't imagine this will be more than, I would say, maybe three or four parts, all in all. But uh, yeah, see you for the next one, and thanks a lot for joining. I really appreciate it. And uh, take care, and uh, have fun. <laughs>